The most common actuarial reports of projections for the remainder of a contract year, a renewal projection, as well as IBNR, incurred but not reported claims, are automated throughout the system. To get the actuarial reports, I'm going to show you how you can do that. The first one I will show you is the IBNR report. Simply from reports, we could go down to the IBNR report, regenerate it, and then view it or download it. And you'll see here, this is the full analysis of claims that are lagging in the plan, as well as a total of the amount that should be reserved on this plan. So the next time a finance director or CFO calls and they need to know the answer to this question, it's literally that simple. There's no having to contact your actuarial department. You simply can just download the report and send it off to them. Next, I will show you how midpoint to midpoint on a customizable basis is built into the system. To me, it's very important to organizations, extremely important, that we match up with the reinsurance carrier is going to do on renewal. Very commonly, competing systems will talk about artificial intelligence and their projections and how they do things. But the truth is, is that your reinsurance underwriter doesn't use those methodologies. They use midpoint to midpoint methodologies, and we match that. When we're building out the plan year in the cost projection section, for the remainder of the contract year, we'll take each type of claim and then we will give it different credibility ratings and trend rates. And you have full ability to change this on the fly. For instance, you might not like blending the last 24 months in this way. You might want it as a 70%, 30% credibility, or you might want a different trend rate. You can easily do that, or you could change the structure and even add additional periods if you wanted to do it that way. Simply save, and the next time you go to the report, when you regenerate, you'll see those new numbers. Same thing for renewal projection. These are the midpoint to midpoint assumptions that we'll use in the reporting. For those of you less familiar with that, here's the main thing you need to know. From the main dashboard, simply view the renewal, the remainder renewal report. This is going to show you, it's going to do all of the midpoint to midpoint underwriting to predict the remainder of the current contract year. This might look very familiar. It looks, it's exactly what is done by reinsurance underwriters. We take that data, run it out, and then determine based upon our budget whether or not we're going to end up the year over or under budget. This is very important because surprised clients tend to fire people. And this is a nice way to keep from getting fired. Same methodology applies for renewal projections as well, using midpoint to midpoint underwriting to be able to give a nice, easy budget factor so that, again, clients can plan ahead uh, to be able to meet their goals.